This is Autocraft, a server where we play together with a bunch of This is this is not working anymore. I mean I it's supposed to be a fun story. I don't know what's wrong with them. In this episode we started crawling in the ground and ended up conquering the skies. So if you fancy some adventure, then you are in the right place, because this is gonna be a story to tell. It's been a few days since our last episode where we built that beautiful flower shop called Sao, and I want to... Uh, that's weird. I want to check if we've sold anything at all. And the door is open, so that's a good sign. Come on, ship, hope with me. Uh, I'm not in the right mood for this. Ah. <sighs> Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. Do we sold any of the seeds? No. Let's see the pictures. Come on. Oh, we sold one picture. Yes, we sold one. And the torch flowers. Oh, two of these ones. Okay, three diamonds. That's not a lot, but that's all right. I mean, this was never meant to be my main source of profits. It's beautiful. It's sour. We love it. But I have another shopping store for you. Do you see all those sheep? Well, this season we will also be selling wool, because if I've learned something from season 3 is that people, especially me, use a lot of wool. That's right, me, wool shop. This season, sheep. Hello! That's why I have with me a box filled with every dye. We will dye the sheep with each color and set up a farm for them. Maybe two sheep for each color? I don't know, we will see. But before building the farm and getting all redstone and stuff... Hello, Poya Pie, you doing good? Hey yo, yeah, you just keep sniffing, you're doing great. I love you, big boy. I'm gonna check on your friends. I feel like I should be doing something else, but... Ugh, this, this might actually help, so... Whatever. So many sniffers! <laughs> I'm still in shock with the amount of sniffers we have here. We got a bunch of seeds, we also have some sniffer eggs. Ah uh, yeah, it's going great. It's working perfectly. My sniffers are doing wonderful. So yeah, let's build a sheep farm. Let's let's build a wool farm, shall we? And such as that, we have our new sheep farm. There's one sheep for each color of wool. So as you can see, it's been working for a while. Of course, this is not gonna be enough. We are gonna be AFK in here for longer. And maybe we'll add another unit of the farm. Maybe we'll make it bigger so we can farm faster. But for now, this will have to do because we have more stuff to get done. You see, this place, my industrial area, is kind of far from everybody else. And coming back to Starter Town or to the shopping district takes me a whole lot of time. So I think I want to work on another tunnel to get back faster, right? I went to the caves to gather some obsidian for my nether portal, and on the other side I spawned in quite a lucky position, right next to an already existing path that connected Starter Town with the nether fortress that belongs to M and Fali. I'm gonna make this shop as beautiful as I can, apparently that's the only thing that I know how to do. On the other hand, the biomes were not quite lucky since I had to fight against magma cubes, skeletons and ghasts. I got you ghasts, you better fear me now. But in spite of that, I managed to make the path slightly safer and faster with more ice. This is so fast, I love this. Dodge the mobs! No way, I need to spawn proof this. So, since we are back in Starter Town, I want to talk a bit more about the shop that we are going to be building in the shopping district over there, in that direction. What can I say about hot air balloons? They are one of my favorite builds in Minecraft, in fact I did one in Season 3 and I'm gonna do another one this season for the shop. It's gonna be way bigger and way more prettier, but since it's going to be a floaty build, I think it would be wise to finally get our hands into some elytra wings and I think I know who to buy them from. That's a beautiful tower. Drink! Oh, Calvin! Hello! I'm looking for my gold, I can't find it. Eh. Uh... I have a golden carrot. This is dirt. Okay. I'm here for elytras. Yes. I need Train wings. Now, it is already pre-enchanted. Oh. That's, that's, I, I, I mean, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I have to say that I love the trim that you chose for your netherite. That's, I love it. Thank you. It looks so good. Back to the, to the, to the topic. <laughs> <laughs> Elytras, enchanted. How much? Yes. 25 diamonds. 
Oh, it's it's almost like we've had talked about this before because I have 25 diamonds right here. Oh, really? Yes, such a coincidence. Wow. So I'll grab one more well. because it's enchanted. <laughs> here, tower of diamonds. And then a lighter. Oh, nice. Dude. Thank you, Grink. Now I can fly, although I don't have rockets, but it doesn't matter. Uh, here. here. Uh, hold on. I'll, I'll buy from Since later. you donate. Well, hold on. Since oh. you donated, three stack of rockets. We love Grink. Anyways, thank you. Woohoo. No problem. I need to fly out my window. I can fly off. Oh, you have a window. Bye. And we fly now. Bop, there we go. <laughs> I knew you were trying to do something. Uno time. Okay. With my elytras in hand, I spent some diamonds to get rockets in Lacey's amazing new rocket shop and went exploring to gather all the materials. We just keep dying, I don't I don't know what to do. I mean Yes, the, the Miss Lady is the one who knows what. I don't know where to find her. This is this is so stupid, eh? I will better build the balloon this episode. For this, we are gonna need to find the Badlands biome, where we can get a whole bunch of red sandstone. And also we have to raid an ocean monument to get a bunch of prismarine, being careful not to die and lose our recently acquired the Lytras. I collected some sand to make 10 stacks of yellow concrete. Later, using bone meal I gathered a bunch of beautiful moss blocks leaving a whole mess behind, and also chopped a bunch of wood and cleaned the floating mess because I'm not a psycho. Right here we have all the different materials collected, so let me quickly make a bed. Perfect. Spawn is set. Let's light this area up, we don't want any creepers spawning and blowing up our beautiful shulkers. And now, it's finally time for the time lapse of this episode. So let's go! We came here to the Enderman farm for a while because I need to repair my elytras and some of my tools. Although I don't really think I need to stay here for long because this thing is insanely fast. So yeah, let's go back home now. I will use some glow lichen and light blocks to light up the balloon because I've been notified that it's actually a mob farm at this moment and not so much of a shop. Uh, shopping district, where is shopping district? 
No! No! Run, Calvin, run, Calvin, run, Calvin, run, Calvin, run, Calvin, run, Calvin, run. This is crucial. I need to. No. Ah! I, why did I lift my sword? I don't know why I did that. That was stupid. <laughs> Everything was going okay. Okay. Let's go get our stuff. Hopefully, nothing fell into the lava. I'm speed. Please, 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 please. Oh, thank goodness. Elytras, I saw you there. Ah, breathe, Calvin, breathe, you are all right. Okay, let's talk about the balloon, or how I like to call it, the Wooloon. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's the name, that's the name, it's a bad pun, I know, but I like it. Anyways, it's looking great. The balloon actually doesn't hold anything, the shop is right below here, and yeah, we have every color of wool displayed down here. In fact, I brought some more because we didn't fill in every chest. So yeah, we can put some on black, some on red. And we have some small gradient here with the honeycomb and the bamboo and the shangle. I think that's that's a very cool gradient that we can do now. Isn't that pretty? I like it. I like the small movement we managed to do. Let's step on Sao for a second. I like the small movement that the bill gains with the with the swirling stripes of stuff. You know, it's like the strings that at once attached the balloon and now it's free to fly into the mountains and probably crash. But you know, hopefully the time lapse. I don't know how it came out, but I tried to build it with Lightmatic, of course, in the same way, with the same process that I did to build the actual balloon, which is first building the shape and then the details. Uh, and it's a good process, especially for this type of build, that the, import, that the shape is very important, but I think the details are the ones that bring this one together. And here I try to, to include that in the timelapse. And that gradient, as you can see in the bottom, it's I think it's very obscured by the balloon, but still it's a nice touch to complement the small piece of terraforming here that I think make the whole scene look a thousand times better, right? As we've talked before in my first episode with the setup for my starter base, I think here we have some similar concept. Now with all the lights and during the nighttime, the balloon looks so good. I like how bright it is and it's safe, no more spawning there. I think there are a few things that we can still do over here. Um, for instance, I think I want to check Sao because it's been a long time since we've been doing the resource gathering and the building of that. And we might have some more profits, so let's check that out real quick. I don't think we have any profits on the tulips. Yeah, they are not. Uh, those are not my profits. Uh, oh, we, we do have some pictures sold. Nice. Uh, nothing else. Doesn't look like it. So I think maybe we can restock this. We have a bunch of pictures and torch flowers already gathered in our industrial area. So let's go over there real quick and grab all of those. No, ghosts. Don't shoot me. Uh, we need to make that safer eventually. It's raining. But it doesn't matter. Let's go grab some seeds to grow the plants and restock the shop. Are they all... Ugh. There's only one left. Ah, uh, now it's gone. I saw it coming. I'm sorry, I just... No, I should have tried to find her at least. No, I had to keep distracting myself with stupid things. And what? They are gone now. God, I... Isn't he great? We love Boyapa. This reminds me though that in our last episode we said we would find the Miss Lady. You know, you remember, the one from our vision. And this episode I absolutely forgot about. Where are you? My sniffers are dying. I would go and find her now, but I kinda ran out of time to do that today. So, I promise we will do that. Answer me, please. I, I have to save them. I have to save him. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Calvin and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye. More sniffers. I'm I'm not gonna let it happen. You can't die, Poyapa.